nice. I got a text. Oh, oh shit. shit. It's a video. Stop. Oh, a special delivery. Oh, fuck. Causes chaos. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know this beat, it's your girl Kyder B coming at you for a new video. So today we're going to be talking about Love Island USA Season 5 Episode 22. Now let's get right into the video. We're just basically, this whole episode was basically raunchy races of Castle Moore get right into the video because we're just starting out with the preview because this episode this episode we're just starting out with the preview keenan 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 like what is going on mr about to be closed off decided to make a test you know him and Naja are getting along well in Casa Amor. Um, that whole scene towards the end when he had to stand up and put a bunch of pills between him and Naja, like, please be for real, please get a grip. And seems like I don't know what's going on here. Uh, the preview, the the producers are very messy because not they sent a video basically seems like they just showed the video of keenan getting along with Naja, and i guess kk saw it so she's breaking down crying because they were like if keenan does something like that again um it's over between them i feel like the whole situation what makes it a lot very much harder for kk is that they had the hideaway if they didn't have the hideaway it wouldn't have went like this, you know what I'm saying? But because of the hideaway situation and because they still agreed to be open and all that extra stuff, this is where it comes down to it. And I'm just like, what's going on? KK's in Casa Moore, but she's getting to know Brandon. I know Brandon, so getting to know Eddie. And she definitely had a connection with Eddie, but she's obviously limiting herself in Casa. She's not even trying. You know, she's still thinking on Keenan. She's sleeping outside. And that video tomorrow is definitely going to send her into a frenzy. So, yeah, Keenan, the next vote, Keenan definitely going to be in the bottom. Um, I think Keenan definitely going to have his little tests with Nadja, but I don't think he's going to be bold enough to bring Nadja back. He going to he going to probably stay single and then I don't know if KK stays single because you got all these things showing you Keenan is not it. And you still like, you know, bring back Brendan, bring back, you know, after you see that video, you bet you and Eddie yeah, better be cracking on. You and Eddie better be cracking on, okay? Like, please. But that preview was very messy. Now, this episode basically centered around this whole cassie matthias and leo and johnny situation so um leo and johnny they're getting to know each other very well he's basically saying that you're the it girl you know he did not have that connection with uh cassie on day one and i mean to be honest he's probably telling the truth because when he was coupled up with cassie the very next day as soon as the new bombshell came in he paid her dust it wasn't until later on, after he was coupled up with Anna, him and Cassie decided that they had a connection and, you know, he was still thinking about her and da 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 But, you know, with Johnny, I guess, you know, Johnny is that girl for him. Now, Matthias and Cassie, um, they're getting along well. They shared their kiss outside of the challenge. They had a couple kisses inside of the Ronchi Races challenge. And then, um... You know, the girls, Carmen and Hannah, were basically talking about Cassie like, you keep on saying Leo this, Leo that, but you are getting to know Matthias. So now Hannah, Hannah's basically saying that 
you know, between Leo and Matthias, Cassie should definitely pick Matthias. Now, Carmen is saying that Matthias, he, he, he's not all that. And they were also calling Cassie shallow. Like, you know, Cassie's very unaware. She just talks about herself. Like, basically, what we see on screen with Cassie is definitely what's going on in the villa with her. Oh, God. Yeah. Not Cassie and Matthias going to the bedroom. Oh, shit. Who knows what's going to happen in there? I'm trying to, like, be like... Hmm. Leo. Yeah, the yeah. thing is, it's like... Leo, compared to him, there ain't no comparison, in my opinion. I know who I would pick. Who would you pick? I don't like him. All my conversations with him are just very shallow. She's kind of shallow. <laughs> she kind of is. She's always talking about herself and shit. And you think she's maybe very it unaware. He's, if he's very shallow all about himself and she's very unaware of everything. Like, um, they're definitely saying like how she speaks, how she talks or, and whatever is definitely, you know, the truth, you know, <laughs> that she's very unaware um stuff like that and she, she she can be seen aloof sometimes and you know we later hear car um not carmen hannah basically said that leo might be too good for cassie you know leo's over here getting to know johnny cassie's getting to know matthias but she still has leo in the back of her mind you know she's trying to be respectful um we see i mommy and um Kyle get to know each other and obviously it definitely looks like she's bringing him back I mean she will be silly not to um because last time I checked she is still single she is not in any type of couple in the villa she's a single Pringle now Destiny she's getting to know Zay um she's been sharing a bit with him um seems like their connection is going very well um, even though she does have a connection with my, uh, Mike back in the villa, I mean, like I said, she would feel silly not to bring somebody back because last time I checked, she's not in a couple with anybody. Well, she's in a couple with Jonah, but obviously that's, that's done. That's dead. Like, so really it would be silly because when you recouple, it's either stay in the same couple you were in or, you know, Stay single to stay in a couple you're in or recouple with somebody else. So you will feel silly not to do so. Now, Mike is getting to know Deja. And it seems like they're getting to know each other well. He's still talking about that he has a connection with Destiny and it's going really well. But, you know, Deja's cont a contender for him and they shared a kiss. But the thing about the editing team, the editing team was showing the kiss between Mike and Deja. But then they were showing Destiny. Like, they didn't need to show Destiny. Like, they could have just left it at that. Because when Destiny and Zay were having a chat, they did not show Mike. Okay? Like, please. Like, we didn't need to see Destiny sitting down. Like, like she wasn't even sad. She's getting, she's having fun. Because even Carmen said that, you know, Imani and Destiny are, like, probably the main ones who are, like, very, I guess, open to Casa. But Cassie's definitely open to Casa. So we're, like I said from yesterday, um, Marco, he's definitely not going to go back to Hannah O. He's staying with OG Hannah, which he did. Um, Hannah O looks very silly coming back on the show to try to like reconcile a relationship that was from two months ago and say that, and like basically hearing what, what transpired in their relationship basically was that he didn't really talk about his feelings like they barely talked about serious things like that and she felt blindsided when he wanted to i guess stay with hannah og hannah but i'm like how he felt blindsided he went on love island that should tell you number one he wasn't thinking about you so how you feel blindsided do you i mean you think that because he dated you for two months or whatever which didn't really have any substance from what I can tell. If you didn't talk about your feelings and talk about anything important, then what do you have to go off of? You think that just because he dated two months, you know, it's more important than him and Hannah. He said that Hannah brought out, you know, things out of him that you never did. So it is what it is. You look very silly because you did come back on the show for Marco and Marco's like he's closed off with Hannah not least is Bergie. Bergie and Allie were trying to get to know each other and then it seemed like you know he was locked in but the thing about it 
this is so funny the conversation that ali and bergie had because Allie's like, she doesn't know where her head is at with the whole bird view situation. She's basically letting him know that I'm not just here just to get into the villa. She's like, you know, I have to be 100% on something. So she's basically letting him know low key that she's just not feeling it. And this is like, this is coming from a Casa Moore girl. A Casa Moore girl is basically letting you know that she's not feeling it with you. And just like, I rather not, like, if I'm not 100%, I rather not waste your time to come back into the villa. And she's telling this to Bergie. Bergie is single. She, you know, Bergie would have easily take her back to the villa in a heartbeat. And she's basically like waffling it. She's just like, oh, I don't, I don't know where I stand. So it's kind of sad. So now Taylor C., you know, obviously has a window to get to know Bergie, but I feel like she's smart enough, you know, to know that she's definitely the second to third option on, you know, Bergie's little list. And, you know, he asked her to just like share a bed together and, you know, he said, thank you, whatever. But I'm just like, he's definitely not really checking for Taylor C like that, but, you know, he's glad that he has an option. Uh, she, she, you know, he's glad that he has somebody because Allie's getting picked up by Jonah. So he can't get to know the other blonde. And since Allie it wasn't 100% with him, he had to get to know Taylor C. So at the end of the day, you know, he's going to bring somebody back. But, you know, even Allie, a Casa Moore girl, is letting you know, you know, she rather not even waste her time to come to the villa. She's like, you know, straight up, like, yeah, I'm not 100% on you. And that's, that's sad, coming from Castle Moore Girl. Carmen and Rob situation. Carmen, she's definitely going back to Kenzo. Like I said, you know, she's trying to give Rob a chance. And Rob is like, oh, he has his, you know, eyes set on Carmen and talking to Hannah about Carmen. But Carmen is definitely not going to, you know, couple up with him. She's going back to Kenzo. Kenzo's definitely dead set on Carmen. So at the end of the day, they're going to go back to each other. Like, they're not fooling anybody, like, ASAP. Hannah, she's definitely going back to, you know, Marco. Both Hannah, Carmen, Marco, and Kenzo are going back to each other. And, like, well, that's it. That's it. Leo, most likely coupling up with Johnny. Cassie, coupling up with Matthias. Uh, Imani and Destiny are recoupling. KK, I don't know, is up in the air. Keenan, he is not, I don't think he's bold enough to bring Nadja back. And yeah, at the end of the day, this was this episode. Let's see what's going on with this, you know, clip that they send to KK. They're probably like telling KK, like, you know what? This is Cass and Moore. You need to loosen up. Like, this is your fourth and fifth hint to let you know you need to drop keenan asap but yeah hopefully she gets it but anyway guys if you like the video like the video comment down below let me know your thoughts comments concerns and subscribe to my channel subscribe anyway thank you guys for watching this video peace